Well, good morning and welcome to episode 59. The term nobody cares is actually an accurate depiction of the world and it increases exponentially as our planet's population increases. The phenomenal growth of social media, the speed of change, the existential threats of global warming, the political and philosophical divisiveness here in our country and much of the world. These and many other critical issues just add to the fire and the result is indifference and neglect. Thus the term, nobody cares. We give up, we become frustrated, we turn inward, you watch or read the daily news and we come to realize that the term, all news is bad news, comes to fore. For what it's worth, I'd estimate that 80, 70 to 80 percent of the daily news is depressing, and that's what sells, apparently. And the eventual result is apathy, apathy and listlessness. I don't have any facts to back this up, but I'm sure that most of you can relate. If someone tells me that two youths died in a car accident last night at 995, I just shake my head and go about my business. The incident is soon gone. It never really reaches me, and it becomes another nobody cares moment. And I don't mean this in a cold way, but our planet is a brutal place in simple terms. As of now, Wikipedia lists around 40 ongoing wars or minor conflicts in approximately three dozen countries in the last two years. And I won't bore you with statistics, but I do have to provide some research, or as the saying goes, nobody cares. Death, destruction, and suffering is just another sound bite that eats away at our souls. I'm not a particularly religious person, but now I know what they mean when they say, Lord, have mercy on our souls. I was telling some friends that I had to have surgery for sinusitis, and the procedure is called balloon sinus dilation. And of course, they remarked by stating, this isn't the only surgery or help you need. They all laughed, and I'm still wondering what they meant. <laughs> they didn't specify. So my wife says to me during a conversation, Will you act like an adult for once? And I replied by saying, no, you're being mean. I don't like you and you're no fun anymore. And I went to my room. <laughs> stubborn is an interesting word. And my definition of stubborn is different than Webster's Dictionary, which states that stubborn is having a dogged determination not to change one's attitude or position on something, especially in spite of good arguments. My definition is that in many human exchanges, when someone labels you as being stubborn, that they could actually be emanating the same trait. And of course, it all depends on the scenario. I recall being in a situation where someone made the claim that I was being stubborn. And I responded by saying, in this particular moment, maybe we're both being stubborn. You made your claim and I made mine. Two people don't have to agree on something. And it doesn't mean that we're being stubborn. It's just a variability gap. Though after all this, I can't be stubborn. <laughs> Another contradiction. I enjoyed the line from the series Tulsa King when Sylvester Stallone tells this guy, I take 20% for your protection. And the guy responds with, I didn't need your protection until you came along. And St Stallone informs him that that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Occasionally, I tell my sons that everyone needs to deal with their angels and devils that we all possess since they're always there. But I always remind him that at least that our last name is Angeloni, so we're already one up on the devil or devils. Though I have to admit it, it hasn't really worked very well for us. It always seems that everything is just a crap shooting light. I suppose now that just about everyone was a junkie at one time. For instance, I just spoke with a priest, this is true, who admitted to being a junkie in his 20s. You wouldn't think a priest would ever be one but he was very open about it. And anyone could be one and drug trafficking, is, drug trafficking in the US is still the largest importer of illegal drugs. And I don't foresee any country overtaking our appetite for drugs any day soon. Oh, and I, I neglected something here. Um, drug trafficking is also, the like, also very likely the biggest money maker in the world. I missed that part. And please, now we'll end here. And please, if you're ever in my presence, which I realize is very unlikely, don't say it's amazing. I'm so tired of hearing people saying this, especially younger women saying this with their vocal fry. It's very nauseating. It's amazing. And I will end here. <laughs>